So I had a conversation the other day with uh, a client of mine, and um, he he was saying that he was in the gym, and he was watching people do you know quote unquote push pull workouts whatever, um, and it's and he even made a comment. He's like, why do so many guys, some women too, just focus on a lot of pull or push and lack the pull, especially when it comes to legs. Um, it's a common question and it's a common problem that so many people have and I want to share with you a little bit of information on that here in just a second. Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brian, Certified Strength Coach with CriticalBench.com and push-pull legs. It's a very common uh, quote that we throw around. Yeah, I'm going to do push-pull uh, day to day or I'm pushing legs, pull legs, whatever, however you want to say it. It's one of those things that it's loosely thrown around, but a lot of people just fail miserably at it. So when you think about pushing weight, yeah, you push it, okay? When you think about pulling weight, you pull it. The best way to, to demonstrate it is like, think of a car stuck in mud. You get behind the car, you're gonna push the car out of the mud. The pull would be, you're, pu you know, you're in front of the car trying to pull your, the car out of the mud. See the parallels to the difference? but they are kind of one and the same. However, your body needs to be treated like that car. You got the front of the part of the body. Those are more of your push muscles. When we're talking legs, quads, uh, obviously some other glutes, but it's mostly quadriceps. Pulling, on the other hand, is more of posterior chain, your hamstrings and also your calves. So think about it. If you're gonna be doing a set of squats, what gets sore the most from doing squats? And if you're doing them correctly, it should be the quads. This is your number one push exercise, is the squat. Front squat, back squat, hack squat, power squat, any type of squatting exercise is a push exercise that you should be doing as your number one push. Now the alternate to that is your number one pull would be, you got, you got it, deadlift. Sumo deadlift, stiff-legged deadlift, Romanian deadlift, uh, single leg deadlift, any type of deadlift that you're pulling the weight up off the ground. So those would be the pull and the push that you need to use within your training. Now there's gonna be some other exercises that are gonna be supplemental to those two, which would be like lunges, which would be, you guessed it, those would be your pushing exercise. Because think about if you're walking lunges, you're gonna be pushing your weight forward, you're using your quads to generate the power and the strength to stand up and move forward. The alternate to that would be any type of single leg deadlift, hamstring curls, any type of where your, your, your knee is bending, knee flexion, that's gonna be more of your hamstring. So walking backwards, for instance, even reverse lunges can be used uh, for posterior work or of a pulling exercise. So hopefully that sheds some light on push-pull, the difference between the squat and the deadlift. So your squat again is your number one push, your deadlift is your number one pull. If you train both of those properly, you're gonna see good results on both the front of the legs and also the back of the legs. So other than that, that's all I've got for you on, on this video. But before you go and take off, I wanna share a report with you that I wrote. It's called the five minute glute workout. And it's gonna be geared on strengthening your glutes, hence the name. I want you to get this free report by going to this corner right here where I'm pointing. Click the arrow under this video. That, that little arrow uh, is gonna open up our video description area. The top link you see, the very top there, criticalbench.com slash glutes. Click that link, give us your email, and we're gonna send you this free PDF right now. An easier way to get this report is to click right here. Go ahead, do that again. Click it, give us your email, the report's on its way. Subscribe to us by clicking here. Check out this video here. If you got a question or comment, post it now below. I'd love to hear from you. That's it. I'm Coach Brian. See you soon.